Listen up, folks. The esteemed broadcasters club of Britain is playing a game of circle the wagons. And guess who's the target? Yep. You guessed it, none other than GB News. Last night on BBC Newsnight, the balance was so off kilter, you'd think you were watching a Chinese Communist Party pep rally, not the BBC, our purported beacon of liberal democracy. A trio on that panel looked like hyenas at a feast, ready to rip GB News to shreds. So much so that I've actually written to Ofcom and the BBC to complain about blatant bias and anti-competitive practices by the broadcaster. You'd think a BBC that was most recently accused of providing cars for Russell Brand to shag 16-year-olds would probably think twice before lecturing GB News on its standards. Now this all comes, of course, which you'll be aware of unless you've crawled out from under the world's least Wi-Fi equipped rock. That GB News is headline news at the moment, thanks to Lawrence Fox's comments on Dan Wooten's show. Forget that though for a moment. If you ask me, Dan Wooten is more than just a talking head. He's the Alan Shearer of journalism, a, br a brilliant broadcaster. And if you ask me, those attacking him ought to look in a full length mirror. Because you've got the likes of Tory MP Caroline Walk Joke Noakes, and here's a woman who proudly declared she never appears on GB News, only to be caught out like a cat burglar by the Twitter sleuths. Yeah, you guessed it, she has appeared on GB News. Actually, she appeared on GB News within the last couple of weeks. So unless she's Dory from Finding Nemo, I suspect the virtue signal in Lib Dem and Tory clothing is telling fibs. Remember, she's also questioned why we need to know someone's biological sex on the BBC's Today programme. Newsflash, Caroline. As Fair Play for Women have said, it's a pretty crucial detail for a Women and Equality Select Committee chair, of which you are, to understand that being able to determine sex is pretty damn important for a whole host of policy decisions. If you ask me, she's thicker than a fray bent os pie and she's twice as salty. And then there's Adam Barrel-like Bolton, a former sly news host. He's never seen a woman he doesn't want to shout at on his news broadcasting. Sit down there. Stop fucking around. Well, uh, Beth is here. Uh, you can see uh, Boris Johnson's speech when it happens around lunch. He's now at Talk TV. Well, there's a channel that only viewers are tumbleweeds, frankly. He's so desperate for GB News to go under that he let the cat out the bag, admitting that GB News is a threat to the status quo of media elites by saying this. I have to say, I think the complaints have piled up against GB News. I think there is a delicate and important broadcast ecology in this country. I think, you know, GB News is trying to bust that ecology and frankly, what Ofcom should do is shut it down. And let's not forget David Yelland, ex-Sun editor turned press freedom Grinch. The irony's thicker than London fog. Considering these media mavens are now creating a recipe that might just blow up in their own faces, I'm asking, how short-sighted can you possibly be? Would the Sun have been able to operate and make news accessible in any way, shape or form? If cause an offence is enough to see a regulator shut you down, I highly doubt it. The bottom line here is that Ofcom has been drooling like a Rottweiler or an XL bully at a butcher's window ready to pounce on GB News and the BBC are only too happy to put forward biased panels to help them in that endeavour. But anyone cheering this Orwellian circus on while claiming to support free speech you certified hypocrites. I'm not accepting any returns whatsoever. Because this is the playbook. First, they ignore us. Then, they mock us. Now, they attack us. But guess what? We we'll keep racking up the wins. Regularly beating Sky and regularly beating the BBC, despite their license fee monopoly. So their fury is aimed at us out of sheer desperation. As the crusade against GB News shows, our liberal elites are dead set against, uh, given any competition whatsoever, they want to hog the media mic, and actually this triple threat to democracy, this triple threat of democracy, pluralism and free speech, I think we've got to be resolute 
and stand determined and say, we mustn't let them pull a fast one on us. Because this isn't about me. This isn't really about GB News. This isn't about Dan Wooten. This isn't about Lawrence Fox. This is about you. They are saying that you, like you did in your vote for Brexit, you've got it wrong in liking this broadcaster. It isn't right. You mustn't be allowed to have it. And that's what this is all about. It's an elitist sneer and contempt for the views of the people of Britain. And I, for one, am not going to stand for it.